to keep somebody in a emergency mental health facility waiting for a bed in another facility for days on end with no information basically given to them about what is happening. Now, this is an individual with a mild intellectual disability, and she kept there on a bed. You know, a few times I talked to her, she's in the hall. This seems punitive to me. I understand the the concern, and it's really unfortunate to me, I guess, that we're not looking at all the pieces of this and how Yes, that was the right course of action. I am not faulting anybody in her life. I have a good relationship with her group home manager, but I'm just telling you, the way we're doing this is really frustrating. And I think when I talk about the guests that I've had on the podcast, you'll see the scope of all the ways that a condition like this can affect individuals and the the vast number of resources that we do have available right here, right